A warm welcome to all the ESC aspirants. My name is Satyajit Sahu and today we are going to see a very important topic that is the subject wise weightage of ESC prelims for the civil engineers. Now most of you are preparing for ESC and GATE combined, right? So many students think that the weightage which is there for the GATE might be same as that for the ESC or is it different or how I will prioritize the subjects for ESC prelims. So these questions I will answer today in this session. So warm welcome to all the students who are watching this uh, lecture live and also to the students who are watching it recorded. A short introduction about myself. My name is Satyajit Sahu. I have done my B.Tech and M.Tech both from IIT Khadakpur and I have been teaching for GATE and ESC for the last 11 years. Now coming to the ESC pattern, let us have, you know, small discussion about the ESC pattern and then we will go into what? The subject wise weightage. Now, since this video is about prelims, so we will confine our discussion to what? ESC prelims, right? So in ESC prelims, there are two papers, right? One belongs to the civil engineering or technical paper. The next one is what? General studies. Now this is about what? This is about the civil engineering paper. Yes. So in the civil engineering paper, there are how many questions? There are 150 questions, right? So 150 questions, each question is having two marks, making it how much? Making it 300 marks. Making it how much? 300 marks. Now, if we see gate, if we see gate, in gate what happens? Certain subjects have more weightage. Like in gate, if I see gate, if I see gate, in gate, I can say that geotech has a weightage of around 15 marks. Yes. And environment engineering, environment engineering has a weightage of 10 marks. And even subjects like transportation, even subjects like transportation has a weightage of how much? Of 7 marks. So combine these three, it will make how much? Around 32 marks out of 70. Almost I can say what? 50%, right? <laughs> so I can say that only these three subjects are approximately 50% of your civil engineering, right? 50% of your civil engineering, 50% of your civil engineering, if I am discussing what? If I am discussing the gate syllabus. Now rest subjects have different weightages, but certainly less than this, right? Certainly less than this. But in ESC prelims, the picture is little different. In ESC prelims, there is no such undue advantage given to only geotech or environment. So if you are studying only geotech and environment and transportation, thinking that you are going to perform very well in the ESA prelims, that's a big illusion. That's a big illusion. So that big illusion we will clarify so that you don't commit such mistakes in your preparation. Let us go straight forward to the subjects and their average marks. So you can see all the subjects I have summarized here. Yes. And this marks, this marks I have taken an average of the marks from 2017 to 2023. Many students might be knowing if they know very good. If they don't know, so I want to highlight this fact that the ESC pattern changed in 2017. So it's very important that we analyze the subjects, the papers, the subjects after 2017. Before 2017, the things were a little different. So let us keep our analysis to 2017 and after that. Very good, nice. So you can see that here, when I'm taking the average mark, this is what? This is the average marks over these years, average marks. And mostly this is maintained. I have observed that this average marks is maintained over the years in the prelims examination. You can see that strength of material is around 36 marks. Yes, strength of material is around 36 marks. And then we have building material around 28 marks. See, in gate, the building material is hardly one mark or two mark, right? Very less, 
right? But you can see that the building material becomes a very important subject as far as ESC prelims is concerned, right? As far as ESC prelims is concerned. So you can see that strength of metal is having 36 marks, yes? And then your building metal is having 28 marks. So combined, it is making how much? 50, 60 something marks, right? Yes, it is making how much? 50, 60 something marks. Now you can see that all these subjects, okay, all these subjects are ranging in the marks of what? 24 to 26. They are ranging in the range of what? 24 to 26. You can see all these subjects. Yes, you can see all these subjects are in this particular range. RCC, steel structures, geotech, environment, fluid mechanics, including OCF, then transportation and surveying and construction management. All these are in the range of, you know, I can say 24 to 26 marks or I can say 12 to 13 questions. 12 to 13 questions because each question is 2 marks. Yes, I'll just clear this. Okay, something has happened. So let me rectify it and then we will continue with the session. Pardon. <laughs> yes, so rectify it. We are back. Thank you for your presence. <laughs> Thank you for your presence. You have been a great audience. Okay. Now, coming back. So, as I told that all these subjects, RCC, steel structures, geotech, environment, fluid mechanics, yes, transportation, surveying, and construction planning management, they are ranging from 12 to 13 questions. Yes. So, you cannot put over emphasis on one subject. You have to study all these subjects. Yes or no? It's not that I will ignore steel structures or I will ignore geotech or I will ignore environment. Yes. See, the picture in the gate is little different. Right? The picture in the gate is little different. Sometimes steel they only ask two marks. Right? Sometimes RCC also they ask only three marks. So sometimes what students do? They ignore steel structures, they ignore RCC or they ignore sometimes surveying in the gate. But that is not the case for ESC prelims. In ESC prelims, you have to study all the subjects equal. You can see that all the subjects have almost equal distribution, 12 to 13 questions or I can say 24 to 26 marks. Okay? 24 to 26 marks. So, pardon, I got a call. So, I will just disconnect it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. So, this was what we were discussing. Right. And strength of material. Okay. Very important. Is the highest one. Over the years, sometimes they even ask strength of metal 40 marks also. So, I have seen 20 questions or 40 marks also. So, I can say 30 to 40 marks. They ask only from what? Only from your strength of material. Yes strength of material. So from all these things, from all these things, and certainly there are three more subjects. Irrigation is also 20 marks. Irrigation is asked very less in the gate, right? Only one question you can expect in the gate. But no, in the ESC prelims, it is 10 questions, 20 marks. Yes. And structural analysis is relatively less, but certainly not zero. And hydrology is very less over the last six years. They're asking either one question or two question from hydrology. So you can see from this analysis, from this analysis, we can tell that that gate and ESC preparation is not same. <laughs> Many students are, you know, having this illusion that if I prepare for gate, I'm preparing for ESC or I'm preparing for ESC or preparing for gate. Yeah, we can say the civil engineering doesn't change as far as it is gate or ESC. The civil engineering does, doesn't change. But the preparation model will change, right? You have to pay different, imp different importance for your gate subjects and ESC subjects. Means what? When you're preparing for gate, you have to put more effort for what? Geotech and environment. Then there are good chance that you might score more, right? And in transportation also, right? But the thing is that in case of ESC, you see geotech and environment, it is only 52 marks. So out of 300 marks, it is only 52 marks, right? But in case of uh, gate, what happens? 
it is 25 out of 70. So it's a good percentage in gate as far as geotech and environment is concerned. But it becomes less in case of ESC prelims. Now students who ignore steel structures for gate they find it difficult in the ESC prelims because you can see that the contribution of steel structures and geotech is same. And students who ignore surveying, they also face the music because in surveying, in case of your gate, it's not less, I can say five marks, but here you can see it is 26 marks. We're having what? Equal weight is. See, in gate, surveying is five marks, maximum five marks. And geotech is 15 marks, right? This is geotech and this is surveying in case of gate okay so i can say that the geotech is three times of surveying but in case of your esc prelims you can see that they are almost same so these are the very important conclusions before you are preparing for the examination many students uh, many students have heard this line right that know your examination right you might have heard this line know your examination now how you will know your examination first thing is to know the distribution the subject wise weightage of different subjects in the ESC prelim so first you know this then only you can start your preparation otherwise what will happen you will have a very unplanned preparation and unplanned preparation leads to failure most of the times yes so these are the things, okay? Now, if you want to have some more queries, so this was the discussion of all the subjects. Hope this video helped you, yes? Now, if you have more queries uh, about the preparation and all, you can always contact me. I'm giving you my contact number, okay? This is my contact number. So, you can WhatsApp me or Telegram me or uh, send me a message, but don't call me. I might be busy, so don't call me straightforward. You can just message me and then you can clarify your doubts. Okay, so again, I will have summarization of what we have discussed in this particular video. Okay, so what we discussed, we discussed that gate and ESC are not same. Yes, because the subjects and their mass distribution is different for gate and ESC prelims. And if you want to do good in ESC prelims, you can see that you have to perform well in almost all the subjects. Let that be RCC, steel structures, geotech, environment, fluid mechanics, transportation, surveying, construction management, even irrigation and even structural analysis. See, try to understand. See, structural analysis having 14 marks. But in the next year, they might ask 20 marks also, right? So there is no guarantee that they will only ask 14 marks. So you have to study your structural analysis also. Yes, and you can see that building material and strength, strength of material become very important, almost more than 60 marks, right? More than 60 marks they're asking from what? Your strength of material and building material. So if some students asking, sir, from where I start my preparation for ESA prelims, my answer will be, you have to prepare everything. Yes, you have to prepare everything, but you can start with strength of metal and building material and then go to other subjects, right? Other subjects. So hope this video helped you. We'll be coming up with some more videos. Okay. Thank you very much. See you in some other video. Thank you.